What is the Hardy-Weinberg principle? In a large random mating population, gene and genotype frequencies remain constant in the absence of migration, mutation, and selection. B plus Q equal 1. B is the dominant, and we always use a capital letter, like a capital A for example. Q is the recessive, and we always use a small letter, like a small a for example. If we square the both sides of the equation of b plus q equal 1, this will give us, due to the mathematical principles, b square plus 2bq plus q square equal 1. And this is called the binomial equation. b square is equal to homozygous dominant, and we refer it by double capital letters, for example, double capital A. Q square is the homozygous recessive, and we refer it by double small letter, for example, double small a. 2PQ is the heterozygous, one capital letter and one small letter, for example, capital A, small a. Now we will solve some genetic problems. Tongue ruling inheritance. The ability to turn the sides of the tongue so that Near the tip, the sides nearly touch is inherited by the dominant allele. The recessive homozygous, double small r, is unable to rule the tongue. What the percentage of individuals are recessive homozygous? From your knowledge of the Hardy-Weinberg equation, b square plus 2pq plus q square equal 1, calculate the frequency of the alleles and the percentage of the dominant homozygous and heterozygous. Note that there is 177 can rule their tongue. However, there is 80 they are unable to rule their tongue in this question. Always remember to use these equations in a genetic problems. B plus Q equal 1 and the binomial equation. We know that the number of the rulers is 177 and the number of the non-rulers is 80. Always, always look for the recessive first, and the recessive in this example is the non-rulers. Now, calculate the total of the rulers and the non-rulers. 177 plus 80 equal 257. To get the homozygous recessive, you should divide the number of the non-rulers over the total. So, Q square equal. 80 over 257 and this will give you 0.31 to get the p we need to square root the q square and this will equal to 0.557 and as we know that p plus q equal 1 so p will equal 1 minus q which will equal to 1 minus 0 0.557 and this will give us 0 0.443 to get the homozygous dominant we need to square the p so p square will be equal to 0 0.196 to get the percentage you should multiply it by 100 and this will give us 19.6 percent and to get the heterozygous, we multiply 2pq and this by 2 multiplied by 0 0.443 multiplied by 0 0.557 which give us 0 0.494 and to get the percentage as I said before just multiply it by 100 and this will give us 49.4% and homozygous recessive is given already which is a q square which is equal 0 0.31 which will give us after we multiply it by 131 percent to check that your calculation is right you should use the binomial equation and it should give you one if you did not use the percentages but if you use the percentages it should give you 100 percent so total of the percentages is 19.6 plus 49.4 plus 31 will equal 100% and that means that your work is right well done